Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology portion of MRCS. Which of the following statement relating to the coagulation cascade is true? So we have to find out the true option in case of the coagulation pathway or coagulation cascade the options intrinsic pathway is the main pathway of the coagulation heparin inhibits factor 8 activation of the factor 8 point when the intrinsic and the extrinsic pathway meet tissue factor released by the damaged tissue initiate extrinsic pathway thrombin convert the plasminogen to plasmin so we have to know details about the coagulation pathway so first of all let's see this is the two important pathway of the coagulation one is the extrinsic pathway and another one is the intrinsic pathway among the extrinsic pathway this pathway is the main pathway of the coagulation that means extrinsic pathway is uh, repeatedly occur and extrinsic pathway is the main pathway for coagulation heparin which is a chemical substances which is a molecule and it inhibits the two seven nine ten the factor which is the 2719 so heparin it inhibits 27 and 910 activation of the factor 10 this is another important information that is the factor 10 when the both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway meet and thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin this is important on the other hand the plasminogen converted to plasmin during the fibrinolysis the plasminogen converted to the plasmin so this is in short or it is the summary of the coagulation pathway extrinsic pathway main pathway heparin inhibits 2 19 11 factor and factor 10 is the common pathway for the both extrinsic and intrinsic pathway thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin and plasminogen is converted to plasmin now the intrinsic pathway it is minor role of coagulation so intrinsic pathway it has very minor role in coagulation and it what occurs when sub endothelial damage then collagen exposure and formation of the primary complex on the collagen by high molecular weight kinogen and also other substances such as the pre-calicin and factor 12 and pre-calicin is converted to calicin and the factor 12 becomes activated factor 12 then activated factor 11 factor 11 then 9 also the 10 which is the common pathway so first of all factor 12 activated then first of all factor 12 then factor 11 then factor 9 and 10 so it is the pathway or it is the systemic pathway of the intrinsic part and the extrinsic part it occurs due to tissue damage and tissue damage it occurs from any condition such as you are running you are walking and in this condition some of the tissue in our body always breaking down and uh, when there is a road traffic accident when there is injury when there is the uh, insulted by the chemical substances or virus or bacteria or even in the surgical procedure then what occur what occur the surgeon damages the tissue when surgeon damages the tissue then extrinsic pathway it is started and as the tissue it is break breaking down very quickly so the extrinsic pathway is the main pathway and it first of all factor 7 binds with this tissue factor then factor 9 and finally factor 10 so it is the normal pathway and factor 10 is the common pathway here we can see the intrinsic and extrinsic pathway of the coagulation in ex intrinsic pathway here we can see the plasma calicrin it activates factor 12 then factor 11 then factor 9 and then 10 so it is the normal pathway that means first of all 12 activate then factor 12 activate factor 11 then factor 9 and 10 and 
after that and this tail is the common pathway on the other hand the extrinsic pathway it is the relatively short pathway and in this condition here the tissue factor it activates factor 7 and factor 7 may can directly activated factor 10 which is the common pathway or it can activate factor uh, factor 7a it can die uh, activate factor 9 or factor 10 and also the factor 11 so this is in short about the coagulation and when the common pathway form then from the prothrombin thrombin formation occurs and then fibrin formation cross linking occur and finally the coagulation pathway finished Uh, so it is the coagulation cascade again this is the factor 12 then 11 then 9 then 8 and 10 and from the factor 7 it may be converted to two, factor 10 then throm thrombin prothrombin to thrombin then fibrinogen finally port from the fibrin clot on the other hand the plasminogen converting into the plasmin by important factor which is the tissue plasminogen activator so tissue plasminogen activator it converts plasminogen into the plasmin this is the another slide and it is uh, another important pathway which is the intrinsic pathway in intrinsic pathway they are increase the aptt and in case of extrinsic pathway it is increase pt and in case of common pathway both aptt and pt increase and uh, this information is very very important for any type of exam that in case of extrinsic pathway pt increase in case of intrinsic pathway aptt increase and in case of common pathway aptt and pt increase and in case of intrinsic factor the factor involved 8 9 10 11 12 uh, in case of extrinsic it is the factor 7 and common pathway 2 5 10 and vitamin k dependent also very very important which is the 27910 27910 this factor are vitamin k dependent so this is our answer it is ready that the tissue factor is released by the damaged tissue initiate the extrinsic pathway other options here such as the intrinsic pathway it is the main pathway of the coagulation it is not true because the main pathway is the extrinsic pathway heparin inhibits activation of the factor 8 it is also not true because the heparin it activates 2 11 and 12 here you can see the heparin heparin 2 9 10 11 so the heparin it activates 2 9 10 11 it is the 2 9 10 11 the activation of factor 8 is the most important for intrinsic and extrinsic pathway it is not factor 8 it is the factor 10 which is acts as a or meeting point of the both pathway and thrombin converts plasminogen to the plasmin it is not true here the plasminogen to plasmin here we can see this is the plasminogen to plasmin and it is done by tpa it is done by the t p so our answer is which is the tissue factor and it initiates the extrinsic pathway.